Hello VC, this is Vinyl Lover here, back with uh, my third Vinyl Finds. And uh, yeah, I have um, 13 albums I want to show today. And uh, let's see here, six of them are from 67, three from 69, one from 66, and three from uh, the early 70s. But uh, yeah, mainly 67 is, uh, I guess, the year uh, I like the most. Uh, okay, the first ones are like from um, a local record store uh, and like from the what you call the dollar bin outside. Uh, it's like uh, pick five albums and pay like around fifteen dollars. So yeah. Around three bucks uh, uh, an album I paid for these. The first one I didn't know, but it's um, the new Cactus band, and it's like a later version of uh, the band Cactus, as you all know. This one is um, called Son of Cactus, and uh, it's from uh, 73. And it's like uh, classic rock, hard rock. Uh, it features, um, it's an, uh, Former member of the the, the original Cactus, uh, the keyboard player uh, Dwayne Hitchens, and uh, he joined up with uh, among others Mike uh, Pinera from uh, um, Iron Butterfly. And later, when they they toured live, uh, they used uh, Charlie Sousa, who was the bass player uh, with uh, Greg Almond. And uh, I've only given this uh, 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 one spin, but it's uh, actually quite good. Uh, great 70s, early 70s hard rock sound. Uh, yeah, Son of Cactus, and it's in great shape. Um, on the Atco, it's an American press. And uh, it's actually in great shape, I would say, VG Plus maybe near them in. So, yeah, there's been a sticker on here, but yeah, the first one, the new Cactus Band. The next one I found was uh, a uh, soundtrack from the movie Piaf. Uh, and the movie is inspired by a book also called Piaf from 69. Um, uh, and I think the movie is from Let's see, 74, I think. So uh, I don't have anything by uh, Edith Piaf, but I, as soon as I saw it has uh, No Cheneux Regret Rion, uh, maybe her most famous song, and uh, some others. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, Paris, uh, yeah. But I didn't have anyone anything by Edith Piaf and I, I've been wanting to, so it was a great find. And uh, the vinyl is in great shape. I actually think it has never been played before. So, yes, my second find. Uh, third one was uh, one of the first uh, from 67. And I haven't uh, been able to find this before, but it's, uh, Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues. And uh, yeah, it was in great shape on the, on the Duran label there. Yeah. So I needed that one in my collection. And the next one, also a 67 uh, print and it's a uh, the Hollies is just the greatest, or compilation, if you call it that, with uh, some of their songs from uh, yeah, 64, 65, and 66. I don't know if I can catch the playlist here. Yeah. So, um, Regal here, UK Press with the flip back covers. Love those ones. And the fourth one is the debut by Paul McCartney. 
for some reason I didn't <laughs> I didn't know this one already so it was a no-brainer for me this is a Danish press actually yeah great shape as well and the last one was History of the Grateful Dead Volume 1 Bear's Choice and uh, this one is from uh, 73 but it consists of uh, live recordings from uh, Fillmore East in New York uh, from uh, 70 and it's called uh, Bear's Choice I think it's their sound man uh, nickname his, his nickname is Bear and uh, yeah but uh, sadly when I got home I discovered that the uh, side one has some sort of, I don't know if they spilled something or it's been lying in the sun. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't sound very good. But uh, actually side two is uh, in very good condition. So I've been listening to uh, side two, which consists of uh, Smokestack Lightning, an 18 minute long rendition of Smokestack Lightning. And the last one is just a, a cover of Hard to Handle, the classic soul song. Yeah. Okay, so uh, these next ones are just uh, various uh, thrift store finds and uh, uh, also some Discogs purchases as well. But the first one here is the debut by Santana from 69. I have a lot of Santana. I even played like 15, 20 years ago. I played bass in a tribute, a Santana tribute band here in Copenhagen and enjoyed that a lot. We have uh, some, some great concerts and parties going on with everyone dancing, uh, doing conga lines, uh, dancing on the tables. And, uh, yeah, great times. But this is a classic album. So needed that one. I think it's a Dutch press, uh, stereo, yeah, yeah. And the next one I got was uh, Chad and Jeremy, also from 67. Um, this is American US press on the 2i Columbia. Uh, has a bit of scratches, but it plays through very well. So uh, the cover is in okay, great condition. So. And I really, actually, I really, really enjoy this album. Um, they made like, this was their first attempt on doing this psychedelic pop uh, stuff. And uh, I think the next two albums as well are also uh, with a psychedelic twist. So, but this one is excellent. If you don't know it, uh, check it out. Uh, yeah, it's called Of Cabbages and Kings. Jack Stewart and Jeremy Cole. Clyde, sorry. Chad and Jeremy. The next one uh, was also um, a disc box by, uh, uh, I could, uh, from a local place over here, I could pick him up. Uh, and I found this one, I've been wanting for a long time, one of my favorites at the moment, uh, Psych Albums. And it's uh, Country Joe and the Fish, electric music for the mind and body. But as you can see here, Somehow it got damaged and uh, and actually all the way through. So this is actually the biggest, deepest scratch I've ever seen on a record in my life. So uh, there's no way I can play side A. Besides that, it was actually in great condition, but uh, so now I can just enjoy uh, the B side. So actually I'm still looking for a, a uh, nice copy of this, but it's on the the Vanguard. So, but I really love this album. So too bad. Actually, um, I didn't have to pay anything for this now because it's unsellable. So I just got it, and I I can still hear the B side. So and enjoy that until I find find another copy. And then uh, the next one I found was Kenny Rogers. And the first edition, their debut album, uh, also from 67. And this contains uh, the gem 
just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Excellent track, but actually the whole album is really, really good. And uh, I already own the 69 album with uh, the other classic song, Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. So, but I needed this one and I've been looking for it. Let's see here, the classic reprise. Yes. So this is a great, great, great album. And with a lot of psychedelic vibes, especially just dropped in. Yeah. So check it out if you don't know it. The next one I've been looking for as well. Another debut from 67, it's Moby Gray. Actually, I've watched, uh, I think it's Dots and Loops who do uh, like a top 10 psychedelic albums. Uh, and he has this one in his top 10. And uh, I couldn't agree more. It's really, really, really nice. Also on the Two Eye Columbia. Um, yeah, pretty beat up cover, but it uh, uh, um, the vinyl plays great. So really, really great, great psych rock. Okay, and uh, the last two are um, online purchases reissues, which I needed one of the first one. I don't know why I haven't got it in my collection. It's just one of those. You know, I, I'm gonna wait for a better copy or, you know, but it's just a classic, uh, 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 a need to have in every, yeah, an essential in every record collection. And it, it is Pet Sounds. I, never, I don't know, I have a lot of Pet, uh, a lot of Beach Boys albums, but I don't know why I never required this one. Uh, some say it's the best, album ever, uh, the best pop album ever. I don't know if I completely agree with that, but I would say that the God Only Knows for me is one of the best songs ever written. And especially I think the whole, uh, the side two is just phenomenal. Every song is just wow, amazing. And this is a stereo copy I could have gotten the mono, but I was reading up on it. And uh, for my taste, I, I could see some people actually preferring the stereo copy because uh, the vocals were uh, mixed too low in the mono. So yeah, I really like this, uh, the stereo version. Uh, I haven't compared it to the mono, but I was just reading up and I decided to get uh, the 50th uh, anniversary uh, stereo mix. So yes, and the last one, also a grail for many if you have the money or the luck to find an original, I don't have either one of those two so uh, I just found uh, a nice reissue on the Barnyard Records 2014 reissue and it is the self-titled uh, Mighty Baby and this one is from uh, uh, 69 and it's great 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 UK psych uh, I read it uh, described as hippie prog uh, yeah, uh, definitely some prog elements. Uh, they've also been called the the English, uh, the UK's Grateful Dead, even. Uh, but this is a great, great album. Uh, took a bit, uh, a couple of listens for me in the beginning before I, I didn't know if, if it was one of those uh, overly hyped because they are hard to come by albums. But I must say, this uh, lives up to the hype. If you see, a, if you ever come across this one, buy it. So, and I'm glad for my reissue. I don't think I will ever find a, an original here in Denmark. So, I'm glad I own this one. So that's uh, it for me today. So I uh, hope you're all doing great, and uh, I just uh, been enjoying a lot of your videos and. Uh, yeah and just the vc in general so uh and i'm gonna keep uh, <laughs> uh digging for more and uh yeah hopefully see you soon oh by the way i've been playing uh my reissue of gandalf as well i showed the last time so hope you've enjoyed that too so here from sunny copenhagen this is vinyl lover checking out take care bye